Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So let's start our session. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's talk about the particular syllabus structure, what we are going to do throughout the semester in this particular subject. Right. So. I think my screen is visible to everyone, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, right. So I hope all of you have uh, gone through this particular structure, right? Syllabus structure. Uh, the subject name is mobile application development and uh, the code is 3161612, right? And this is an elective subject, right? I hope the whole class is elected this particular subject. Uh, uh, none other subject is selected from this category. OK. You all are aware of these particular mark distributions. Right. So here we have 70 external 30 or mid SAM 30 viva and. Uh, this is your evaluation internal marks total 150 marks. Will be there. OK, now uh, you can see that. From the beginning we are going to start from the overview of the Android. So in this mobile application development specifically we are going to learn about the Android operating system. OK, so in first unit we are going for the overview of Android in that we are going to see uh, some basic components. What is the particular project structure and how you can install the Android Studio and we are also going to explore the Android Studio environment. OK, in second unit we are going for some advanced topics like activities, fragments and intents like you are going to put some activity, right? So whenever you are opening any application, so whatever view is in front of you, that is known as the activity, right? So you can move from one activity to another activity whenever you click on something and one new page is going to open that is called another activity. So that we are going to see. Fragments is another important thing that is also we are going to learn. After that, we are going to jump into the particular user interface. And in that we are specifically go for the view and view groups. OK, so here we are going to learn how we can handle the inbuilt events, user interface events, how you can create the menus and all that stuff, right? So uh, this is adapter view class. OK and all that stuff we are going to learn in fourth unit. Uh, we are going to learn about the database that is SQLite database. We are going to learn. OK, after that we are going to learn some location services and maps related things, right? So we are going to deal with the Google map API, right? And how you can display the map into the mobile uh, application that also we are going to learn. Next is we are going to work with the graphics and animation. So some shapes you can draw. OK, like rectangle, square, circle and into that you can feel the color. You can put the animation and screen server kind of things uh, you are going to make. Right, so sometimes you have seen that jumping balls. Some circle is from small to it get it's getting bigger than be from bigger to it getting smaller. That kind of animations. Uh, we are going to see into this sixth unit. After that, the very important thing that is audio, video and camera, how these particular things are. See, right now we are all using all these applications, right? So everyone is using Android phones, iPhones if you are using, right? The same thing is there, but names are different. Then uh, what you can do, whatever things right now we are using so we are now going to learn how we can create that things okay and if you want to modify something then you can also modify that things right so that we are going to learn how you can deal with the audio how you can deal with the video cameras how you can deal with 
so all that things we are going to learn how the pictures are coming and all that stuff and at the last we are going to see how you can publish and distribute your android application right so from apple or uh, from android store play store you are uh, going to download some applications right from play store so that applications uh, from where it comes how the particular developer has develop uh, deploy that application onto the server and all that stuff so that and apart from that we are also going to learn about the versioning right so sometimes you are getting the updates uh, like a, a phone book 1.0 phone book 2.0 kind of stuff right so versioning is also important so that also we are going to learn so this is our journey so we are going to learn all this stuff in this particular subject okay now uh, here are some course outcomes so you are going to understand the android architecture activities and their life cycles okay here weightage are also given okay i hope you know about the particular uh, thing everyone is knowing about this thing what is the meaning of weightage anyone yes. okay what is the meaning of it can anyone say so, so the percentage so, of that portion how much marks will be there yes yeah, so from the uh, from which topics uh, uh, the particular weightage is given so this 40 means this is important particular thing okay right see all the things are important right but according to the syllabus structure they have put the weightages and all that right so in publish and distribute application you don't need to do that much work so that's why the weightage is five okay so according to that you can just think on it now uh, here some books are available for your reference that is android application that is a black book right from the dream tech publication and from the rocks publication it is over beginning android 4 application right and here from the pearson so these are the three reference books we have so you can just go through any of these right i i think maybe a uh, soft copy or pdf is also available for this particular book so if you prefer to read from the computers then you can download the pdfs right and just you can go through that reference books apart from this this is a wonderful uh, resource they have put that is developer.android.com on this particular site this is official site from the android developers so all the stuffs you can get from this particular sites right so developer.android.com is a wonderful site and you just go through that and you will find each and every topic over there right so how you can go through the internet topics right so suppose if i want to uh, okay let me take this example if i want to work with the location service and map right so what you can do you can just go to this particular site right and search for the term and you will get all the documentation available for that okay so now you have to decide what up to what extent you need to uh, write that see uh, right now due to the pandemic uh, it is not the written exam over here right but in a future so government says that they are going to start the colleges from january right so we can hope the colleges will start from the february okay right so in theory portion suppose if the exam is going to taken from the physical presence then you just need to remember how to write how to uh, because in external exam 70 marks exam will be there right so uh, you just no, don't need to ignore that you have to work hard according to that okay bhai i have to give the external exam like that and you have to work in that in that fashion right apart from that if the online exam is going to be conducted it's uh, the situ depends on the situation okay so 
you can either go through the particular books or you can go through the lots of uh, you can say uh, internet resources will be there so you just search by the topic and get the knowledge from that okay after that uh, here is the list of practical uh, gtu has only put the six practical but this is not enough for us so we are going to uh, do 50 plus demo in our particular sub so what i will do i will later on put the lab manual right so right now what you do uh, whatever programs we are going to cover in our lecture so all that stuff you just practice in a lab session okay and later on i will put 11 programs right according to the policy and i will put the lab manual based on that but right now what we are going to do we are going to uh, cover whatever we are going to do in lecture session so that programs you have to perform in a lab session are we clear with this is there any doubt in this syllabus structure no doubt sir and uh, one important thing that here there is no uh, that you can say ppt and all that stuff i don't believe in that right so what i will do uh, we can make a group of two three people right and uh, at the end of semester at the end of this particular subject uh, you have to present one demo application so that application you have to create by yourself right and you have to present and according to that based on that i will put the marks okay so why we are going to do this kind of practice because at the end of this subject you will have some confidence in you okay i can create the android application okay right so that 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 thing i i think uh, we go for right apart from that ppt presentation and all that stuff okay is there any doubt up to this anyone sir that uh, group from same batch ha huh? you have to make group from same batch yes you can uh, make or, or class wise you can also make that it uh, doesn't necessary because this is the end semester work right so in laboratory session you are going to work in a same fashion but at the end of this you can make a group from the class right is there any doubt you no, can sir. make a group from the class itself right it is not necessary that you have to uh, make a group from same batch are we clear with this yes sir okay good right so uh sir yes go ahead sir i had a very small and silly question uh, it was uh, so we are going to use java language while programming or are we going to use kotlin i just wanted to be clear see yes that that part i am going to come whenever we start the introduction portion but uh, you asked the earlier so let me clear this so uh, we as we know that we have two choices right so either we can go for java or we can go for the kotlin right but what the things we face over here that from the java is uh, from the beginning java is the particular programming language for the android right so earlier the people was using eclipse right and they are going to write some code and they are going to develop some emulators and all that stuff but right now the android studio is there so it provides the inbuilt facility for both of these programming languages like java and kotlin okay so why we go for right now java because java has a wide variety of community right now and uh, you will get much more resources on the internet suppose uh, suppose if you get uh, if you got stuck somewhere right so what you can do you can get the particular community over there and lots of resources over there kotlin just came recently right 
but kotlin is now announced as official programming language for the android still remember that it is not the replacement of java you can still do the work on java okay but in a kotlin you are not going to get that much support because it is a recently came programming language okay so it's okay some basic programming stuff if you want to work with the particular uh, kotlin then just go for the kotlin right and uh, if you go for the detail works and each and everything then you just go for the java right but in a syllabus uh, okay we uh, we go for both right so basically stick to the java first of all and i will also show you some demos of uh, kotlin how you can do some stuff in a kotlin another reason why we go for the java is you have already studied java right so here there is no need to learn java language for you guys right you have already studied that programming language and you know the everything of java particular okay so it will be easy for you to write some codes to write some programs okay but if you want to go for a kotlin then first of all you just need to learn the kotlin right you need to complete the kotlin and after that you just jump into the android with the use of kotlin are we clear yes sir i hope uh, i solve your doubt right another thing what you can do people uh, in android studio there is a facility from java to kotlin conversion i will show you later on right whenever we go into the deeper section so whatever java code application you have written so you can convert that whole into the kotlin itself so don't worry about that yes kotlin you have to learn because the future is in a kotlin itself are we clear with this right but right yes, now please. yes but but right now what i cannot teach you the kotlin at the same time when i teach you the android because for that uh, it will take a long time barobar se right so i hope you all know the java right and you have studied the java in previous semester so it will be easy for you to guys i will show you the kotlin demos also don't worry about that how you can work so at least you can get the idea that how you can uh, go with the java and how you can go with the kotlin also don't worry about that clear yes yes okay if you have any doubt then just uh, you can ask me huh, any time so um so one last yeah. thing i wanted to say uh, yeah. how many people should be there in a group according to you two uh, two or three people not more than that just two or three people okay is it okay yes sir okay right so let me okay right so just let uh, let's just start our journey right so the first of all we are going to deal with the introduction right so now first of all we go for what is android right so here android is a complete set of software package and it is a linux based operating system okay for mobile device such as the tablet computers notebooks smartphones ebook readers then set up boxes also so right now 
uh, android based televisions are also there tvs are also there smart tvs okay so you can just imagine that android is everywhere okay so whenever the smart application smart appliances are there they are basically using the android okay so it is a complete set of software package now it also contains a linux based operating system and middleware and key mobile applications right so it can be thought you can be thought as a mobile operating system so android is a mobile operating system but it is not limited to the mobile only right because as we discussed that it is everywhere right from mobile phones to tablets to televisions right it is initially developed by the google right and later on oha that is open handset alliance right so this particular people has taken over the particular android development responsibilities now java language is a mainly used to write the android code okay not even though other language can be used like kotlin so here we have a two option and another one is the kotlin right so right now we are going for the java right and we are also going to learn some topics in kotlin so you will have some confidence that you have worked with the kotlin also okay now what is oha that is open handset alliance right so it's a consortium of 84 companies right such as google samsung synaptic akm kddi lots of ebay intel there are lots of companies are there it's a one group of it and it was established on 15 november 2007 led by the google led by the google now this oha is committed to advance open standards that provides the services and deploy handsets using the android platform so these are the responsibilities of this oha they are the open standards they provide some basic services and deploy the handsets using android platform so whatever mobile phones right now you are using based on android so that are all deployed by this particular form organization right so here is the company list there are lots of companies so as we so that it's a consortium of 84 companies right so it contains all this stuff it contains all this stuff right now features of android so first of all a storage so for database it uses the sqlite right what is sqlite sqlite is a lightweight relational database storage for data storage okay now media support it will support the majority of the formats like uh, you can see that here it is listed there are lots of formats it can support second one is the messaging so it provides both sms and mms are supported right but right now people are not using mms too much and sms too much because we have fb and we have whatsapp insta and all that applications right so people are not using this much facilities but still sms mms supports are there then it can also supports the different web browsers some connectivities okay like you have seen it this is a gsm edge then cdma i think if you know that bluetooth wifi lte and wimax okay so all these particular connectivity supports are provided in the android next is hardware support so it also deals with the sensors cameras then digital compasses 
some applications are there based on that sensors and this proximity sensors gps and lot more right so there are lots of sensors facility available right now based on the application and requirement so with the use of that you can get the data it also supports the multi touch multi task then also support the flash support okay then tethering right suppose if you want to create the wireless hotspot or wired internet suppose if you directly connect your phone to the laptop or desktop and uh, from the mobile internet you can access the internet into your uh, pc directly right then screen capture and gestures right so all these features you can see that apart from these there are variety of features are available for the android right now android phones are very smart it uh, lots of applications you can uh, use with the use of android right into your single mobile phone now let's go ahead and uh, talk about the android history right so uh, you can see over here it is initially started uh, android 1.0 in september 2008 right then android 1.1 in february 2009 and from that you can see this is a long journey right you can see that so february october 2011 and these are the particular flavors right flavors in the sense actually this is the flavors of different chocolates and each and everything right but actually it is the flavor of the android operating system right so uh, up till september 2020 android 11 is released right so latest is a uh, particular android 11 so you can see that uh this particular image i took from the internet so you will also find similar image on the internet it's a wonderful image uh, that explains the particular history of the android overall android and it contains all the versions of the android all the versions of the android okay so if you know that you just allow to work with the uh, particular latest softwares so you just go for the android 11 itself right this is about the version of os this is about the version of os right so as you have heard about the uh, particular ios so ios 14 ios 13 ios 12 right so ios 11 that kind of stuff so similarly android 11 is this okay here i have put another image so you just get the idea about what is going on right with the different flavors of android now as we know that android is everywhere so it is from these particular devices right so all these are mobile phones from the different companies right and uh, all these particular mobile phones are using androids right some of the companies have their own uh, you can say operating systems right but majority of the mobile companies are using android right some tablets are there so cisco android tablets then uh, toshiba android smart books acer b touch right so dava d7 velocity micro cruise right so there are lots of tablets are supporting the android platform right now the maturing mobile ex experience what does this mean right so in traditional days we are using phones pagers then pda organization laptops some portable music players also we have used okay and at that time this much 
internet facilities was not there right but today what we have we have all this stuff all these applications on a single device right? that is on a smartphone and perhaps the laptops right but here we are going to talk about the particular smartphones so you can see that all the basic applications majority of the work you are going to perform from the smartphones also right now maybe you are attending this lecture from the phone also right so you can imagine what is tomorrow right what is what will be the tomorrow tomorrow your technology is going to advance little bit more than today right or much more than today right we don't know right because all the things are going from ai ml dl and all that stuff nlp okay so right now in your smartphones also you are getting this particular facilities like majority of the applications are using artificial intelligence machine learning natural language processing okay right so whatever stuff you are predicting your whenever you are typing it shows the predictions right so from where how that predictions comes it is the nlp natural language processing okay whenever you start the camera your eyes are going to be detected your face are going to be detected right rectangles are come whenever the face is detected so what is this it is the ai and machine learning it is the ai and machine learning right so imagine that in today we are at 2020 we are getting all these facilities so imagine in 2030 or 2050 what will be there what will be there right so the mobile experiences are going to be maturing day by day day by day right now this is very important let's uh, talk about the android architecture right so in android architecture at the base there is a linux kernel right as we know that it is a linux based operating system so here in the linux kernel some basic facilities like what kind of basic facilities it provides like a power management <coughs> inter process communication drivers memory audio wifi camera display keypad right so all these particular basic necessary functionalities and drivers are available at the linux kernel level linux kernel level now the next thing is it provides a variety of libraries right so what kind of libraries it can support that it's a web kit for ui sqlite then media frameworks then surface manager whatever touch screens you are going to use open gl for displays ssl and sgl that is for connectivities right so all these particular libraries are supported with that android runtime right so this is a wonderful thing we are going to learn in a detail how this android runtime is working but right now it also provides the library's core support and dalvik virtual machine dvm it is also known as the dvm so as you have studied jvm in java so here in android we have a dvm dalvik virtual machine at the top of this there is application framework right and in this application frameworks here we have activity managers so as i told you that whenever you open the phone right so first activity will be there suppose here there is a button 
if you click then another activity will be open right so this is your activity 1 and this is your activity 2 okay so activity managers are there window managers are there content providers this also we are going to learn in a detail view systems then package manager telephony manager so whatever functionality is related with your call so all that functionalities are going to be carried out by this telephony manager resource manager whatever files folders uh, storage if you are going to do location managers that is your gps and all that location services and this is important that is notifications right so whatever notifications you are getting suppose say for example low battery and all that you are not getting the connectivities and all that stuff we are talking about internal notifications okay low battery and all that stuff so all these particular things are carried out by these notification managers and at the top at the top we have the applications at the top we have the applications so when you open your phone you will find your home screen your contacts your phone application your browser and your camera okay so all these applications running based on this particular architecture on this particular architecture so these android architecture you have to remember clearly right so then and then you can uh, you can imagine that what things flows from where to where okay what things comes from where so all this stuff you can remember once you are handy with the particular android architecture is there any doubt in this up to this is there any doubt guys so no, uh, can you explain uh, open gl open gl you... yes open gl is for graphics library it is a graphics library right so graphics related stops are going to handle by this open gl suppose if you have heard about the open cv yes sir right so similarly here there is an open gl right okay sir understood clear everyone right so uh, we'll see uh, so, uh, ma many of the things from this architecture in a detail not all the things okay as time permits Right. now the next thing is what are the frameworks for android development okay so here are some base standard application development frameworks are there okay so you can see that there is a re native script corona sdk this is specially for 2d two dimension things phone gap ionic Xamarin, I have, uh, I hope, App Accelerator. So these are the particular frameworks for Android development. Okay, so with the use of these, you can create also the Android applications. Right. Obviously, after that, we have so, uh, lots of stuff. Right. But these are. I hope you have heard about the Ionic. Ionic, have you heard about? Yes, sir. Yes, it's a wonderful uh, cross-platform. बराबर है. You can create mobile phone applications in Ionic in a hybrid way. Like suppose at the end, if you want to convert your application for the Android, then you can also do that. and if i want to create with the ios then i i can also similarly phone gap is there right xamarin is also used there 
so right now the hybrid application era is there okay right so many of these particular platforms you are going to touch right but you must have a knowledge of each and everything basic knowledge i'm i'm not saying that you just go to the uh, xamarin and react native and be the master of that later on it's your choice right but the basic knowledge you must have okay i think uh, uh, this is enough for today uh, we are going to cover some more topics later on right is there any doubt up to this anyone if not then we can stop our session over here right okay so i think we can stop our session over here and we'll see some more topics in our next session okay bye i take care guys <clears throat>